the game where the Steelers opened up against the Browns in Cleveland, James Conner's breakout performance, the tie game. He had a sack. He balled out that game, bro. He had a sack on your boy seven, two QB hits. I mean, I thought you would have recognized him. You feel me? But in all seriousness, man, Jannard, um, he's been an interesting guy um, that I've been watching um, in terms of since he's been picked up. Number one, his rookie year, man, he came out the gate super productive. He was exclusively as a rotational DN um, in Cleveland. I thought he played with great burst. I like his size. He's a, a more squattier guy. Kind of reminds me like an Ola Daney type. But, you know, had a natural ability to rush the passer. Um, right side, left side, didn't matter. He was a productive player. Like I said, he had, I think it was, a, was it four and a half sacks that first year? About 30, 40 tackles. He was, he was a, like I said, good player. QB hits and everything. And it also was a key contributor on special teams. Then his second year came, and that was when they switched defensive coordinators. They brought in Steve Wilkes, uh, who was formerly with the Cardinals as their head coach the year I was out there. And somehow, some way, he kind of fell out of grace there and literally went from starting games, playing in every game as a rookie, to being inactive. I think four of the first five games, not really playing a lot. And then they ended up trading him that offseason to the Philadelphia Eagles. Yeah. Now, we went to Philly. They kind of were playing him all over the place as like a hybrid linebacker. He wasn't exclusively at DN. He would be off ball sometimes um, because he is very athletic and he plays with a nice burst. Like you watch him. I mean, I think when he came out, he tested at a four five nine coming out of college, um, six foot two fifty, explosive athlete, and um, you see him do that. But I don't think that he is a off ball linebacker. I think to me that Philly was kind of playing him out of position. But when you look at Philly's DNs that they had during that time, you're talking about Brandon Graham. You're talking about, um, was it uh, Derek Barnett? Obviously, Josh Sweat. And um, there was another guy that was there as well that I'm drawing a blank on. They were pretty loaded at the DN position. So I could understand them just trying to put him out there wherever they could. But in all seriousness, man, I think that, you know, him coming here, I know some people are saying that could he play inside a linebacker? I like him exclusively as that third rush guy. I think that, you know, he can feel that need because watching him going in that 2018 season, looking at a couple of the games there, he's a pass rusher. He has burst. He has toughness. He can rush. Um, he can do games as well in terms of um, working with the D, the, the bigger D lineman guys, right? So doing some inside twists and stuff like that. But he plays fast. He plays with his hair on fire. And he's never had to play 90 snaps or, or excuse me, 90% of the snaps. You know, you're not going to have him out there, you know, start to finish. And we wouldn't need him to be that with Alex Highsmith and TJ Watt. But I think that he would give us a lot more juice in terms of being our third rusher than the situation that we had this year once we got rid of uh, Melvin Ingram. Yeah. I like the move for all the reasons that you stated. Is he going to be the third guy? Could he be the fourth guy with John Simon being around? Well, but like, that, that does become interesting. I think... Oh, I'll let you, I'll let you no, I was going to say, either way, this isn't going to kill us. I mean, yeah. one year, it's probably going to be a cheap contract. Mm -hmm. We need some depth at outside linebacker. Yeah. Because right now, it's Tuska and Simon, I think. Yeah, because Taco's still a free agent right now. And I'm not opposed to seeing what Simon could do it in a more yeah. expanded role because he right. jumped on middle of the season, and mm -hmm. now we got Brian Flores coaching linebackers familiarity yeah. up there in New England. Mm -hmm. But it doesn't hurt to have like a fourth guy, yeah. third or well, fourth guy, have them duke it out for that spot. Well, and I'll say this. I think that Simon is a better and more consistent run defender. But I think from what I've seen from uh, from Gennard, I think that he is a better pass rusher. Okay. I think he's a more pure rusher. I think John is a more physical player, and that's why I think he would excel in the run game, especially helping the run defense out, and that's why I liked him when we brought him in. But to me, I think that Gennard would definitely give you more athletic ability, more rush moves as a outside guy. And when I watch him, it's like he has a natural feel for it. Certain players, it's like Ola versus Bud Dupree. Bud came here. Bud was a great athlete, but Bud didn't know how to rush the passer. And you could see that with some of his moves and how he would always get ran around the quarterback because he really didn't understand counters and how to develop that. Once he developed it, then we saw him really take off. To me, I thought Ola, when he came in, even though I wasn't here with him, just watching him on tape, he was a more natural pass rusher. He just wasn't as athletic as Bud Dupree. And then obviously, like I said, Bud really had started to grow and take off from there. But you look at Ola in Tennessee right now, and that's one of the reasons why they decided to keep Ola because Ola can rest the pass. He's just a natural at that. And when I watch Gennard, I think that Gennard has a lot of similar characteristics when I watch those guys on tape together. The hand usage, the bend, time and the snap count. Like he does all those things. The thing is, like I say, he just didn't get another opportunity outside of that rookie year. And that's why, for me, I'm like, if you get him back as solely outside linebacker, I think that you can really tap into some of that potential that he showed his rookie season. Yeah, not opposed to the move at all. No. Something that we need. We can't run it back with Tuska as our number three. Yeah, I wasn't feeling that. We I could not, not do it. That. 
And now yeah. I don't think we really got a draft to do. Yeah, I mean, if you do, you wouldn't have to take them early. I, I don't think that the Steelers are going to say, hey, man, since we brought this guy in, we're definitely not. If, if somebody fell to them or somebody that they thought was rated higher was in their third round or something like that, I still think they would go with that player. But I do think that Jannard is going to give them a little bit more just ease at that position right now. Watch, we're just gonna take outside linebacker in the first round. You know how we do, man. We're gonna draft a linebacker. You, we're thinking we, about it more. We and more. take linebackers. This is what we do. We're thinking receiver. This is what we do, man. We're thinking quarterback. No, nah, it's just gonna be outside you know, linebacker. This is what we do. Outside or inside guy. This is what we do. We we draft linebackers. <laughs> I wouldn't be opposed to the inside guy if it's that. We Bullock, draft sure. linebackers. This is what we do. We yeah. know this is what we do. 